Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a brand new series in uh, in Prada Rome. I have not played this in any actual series on the channel before, either on stream or on YouTube videos. I've had this game two weeks before it came out. Two years ago now, I think. I don't even remember when In Prada Rome came out. But I've never really touched it. That is until today. So, I did a poll on the YouTube channel in the little community section, being like, hey, what country should we play? Rome did end up winning the poll, so it's who we're going to play now. It also makes sense. In Prada Rome, at your first campaign, playing as Rome seems like a, uh, seems decent for us. Senate Populus Romanius. For over 20 years, the nascent Roman Republic has fought a harsh campaign against the Samnite people to the south. Although victory often seemed far from grasp, the war ended in Rome's favor, resulting in the liberation of an important Greek city of Napopolis. The Samnites, however, having retreated to lick their wounds, are far from defeated. In the north, the Etruscan people eyed the expansion of the Republic with apprehension. The south myriad Greek city-states plot behind one another's back, all while appealing to the benefactors in Greece for aid. On the far-flung island of Sicily, the foreign invasion of a mysterious Carthaginian Empire threatens to upset the precarious balance of power in the region. Will Rome rise victorious or fall into internal strife and the barbaric hordes? The fate of the Republic rest in your hand. So here we are. We have 10 ships. Some triremes, some liberans, or triremes. I'm going to make this in like one fleet, right? Just for right now. So we have... Unused trade routes. We have a lack of commander. We can, we can put a commander in here. Loyalty, popularity. You're not corrupt and you're 60. You're brave. You're a tactician. Let's, let's put you in charge here. That seems okay. You can form innovation. We can call down an omen and we have free idea slot. We got two military ideas and one oratory idea. Morale of armies improve. Shipbuilding cost. Morale, recovery, reinforcement, C. You know what? Let, let's go for morale of armies with 5%. Let's go 25% cheaper ships. Corruption goes down. Loyalty of generals or opinion. Let, let's go for more loyal generals. I don't want anybody rebelling against me. That seems like a bad thing. And we have some, imp, uh, some trade routes here. So what do we want to import then? We have iron... What does it actually do? Because I think all, all things give us a bonus research. Or bonuses. It allows you to build heavy infantry and also gives us some tax. So you know what? Let's import some of this. Local manpower. Ship recruitment speed. Horses are for light cavalry. I think that seems like something we probably want. What do elephants give us? More output. You know what? Let's get more happiness. I don't know who any of these countries are. We're just going to trade with whoever is around. Earthenware or happiness. Probably getting food makes sense. Diplo rep. Slaves. Cream and happiness. Population spread. You know what? Let, let's import you. And we're missing. We have one more slot. Leisure and maintenance cost. Light infantry defense goes up. Marble? Less tyranny. Building costs. You know what? Let's get stone as well. Trade that with you. So that's all of our trade routes done. We can also enforce some innovations. We have eight innovations there. Monthly research is plus 22.7. And we're at 93.74% research efficiency, which I think seems pretty good. Marshall, you are civic, you are oratory, and you are religious. Let's go back here. Base cost one. We get one free province investment. I mean, let's at least research the basic of all the technology groups. That at least, to me, makes sense. Okay, process. Now what else do we got? We have four more research that we can go for. We process. Unintegrated cultural group happiness is higher. Or integrated is a little bit better. There's expansion change. You know what? That seems like it'd be good. You know, let's just... this way less aggressive expansion. I feel like we're going to be very aggressive to begin with. Ooh, more imports, actually. And you are 2.5% tax, which seems nice. The ply limit goes up. More experience or starting... Why would I want to get this when this one just seems better?
Maybe because the second one's a little bit better. Discipline. You're more experienced. Okay, I mean, that, that seems fine. That's all our research is done. And again, we have one more trade road we can actually do here as well. Tribesman happiness. I don't think we have a lot of tribesmen, though. So it doesn't make a lot of sense for us. Experience decay. Monthly tyranny. Let's get better light infantry offense. Seems okay as well. And we can call down an omen. There are no omens in the in the uh, section here, so I'm assuming we actually can't call down an omen. Because there's nothing actually listed. We've got the macro builder. What else we got? We have 201 gold. We're earning 1.6. We have about 10,000 manpower, and we're gaining 104 per month. 40 influence, we're getting 1. We have no experience, we're getting 0.37. Stability is about a 50, and it's going up. Those expansion is decreasing. War exhaustion is going down. Overall, things are looking pretty okay. That's at least the way that I see this. So, where's our speed? Okay, speed's down there. Let's go into speed 4 for now. We're not going to go speed 5. That seems like maybe it's a little bit too much. We can call down an omen. Are you sure we can call down an omen? I don't, I don't see any omens in here. And you want to trade us some wines. Yeah, let's trade with everybody for now. I don't see a reason not to. Make some good money. Paid away some hemp. So what do we got here? We got we got the city of Rome. As well as, I think, some more cities. Here's, we got like two cities in this area. We got a Hellenic temple. You got a temple to Jupiter. And right now we have default taxation. I mean, everything right now is basically at, you know, neutral. And we're making 8. We're spending 2.85. So how are we only getting taxes? 0.39. Commerce plus 0.66. Four maintenance, fleet maintenance. Fleet maintenance actually is a lot. What are the resources at the top? Um. I mean, this, this is, um... War exhaustion, tyranny, aggressive expansion, and stability. And we got political influence, and we got military experience. So I'm assuming you're probably going to use, like, kind of buy upgrades. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube, or if you're watching this on Twitch, and you know how to play this game, please tell me, like, how to actually make things work. We got, yeah, nothing in our religion. Culture. We are mostly Italic. We got some Hebrew and some Mesopotamian. Trade overview. Military, we got 30 pops, 3 additional support units. We got some levies here. This is our big army, you're our kind of mad garbage army. We got a bunch of mercies as well. Diplomacy, we're not really at war with anybody. And we got a bunch of characters, we got some missions as well. So we need to conquer and subdue the Italian Peninsula. You know what, that's something we can definitely start a mission on. Let's get that going. Encourage expansion. Destroy Italian allies. Yeah, no, I think we just want to get, get some expansion. Do we have any claims on anybody? So you are the culture map mode. You're all the cultures. You're the map mode. Okay. Fair enough. So we got you up towards the north. You have two alliances there. Do I have anyone who's... I mean, to me, it makes sense for us to expand southwards, right? Like, there's these are much smaller countries. You are a tributary of us. Cancel, start integration. You need to like us more. Okay, we can we can make you like us more. It's gonna cost twenty-five dollars. We'll gain tyranny because not enough people support us. Improve. We got a goddamn senate. And you're allied with this guy in the south. Military attack two. We're on military two attack two as well. You have no ships. I don't know why this is like covered up here. The superiority. Can I like justify a um? Okay, we, we need to make sure the Senate actually likes us. I complete you. Claim the town peninsula. Rome will be able to take between various military modifiers. Oh no, okay, so this is actually just completing all the way. Okay. The might of Rome. We need to, like, attack people. 
more manpower or more morale. I think we definitely want to go for more morale. Seems a little bit better for us. We got 51.74% support of the Senate. Okay. I mean, the Senate likes us well enough. You're a tributary of us. Who actually is tributaries? To ensure support for the world official, office of Jupiter, patron of good faith and grace of gods, is recommending... Okay, so gain 10 loyalty. Lose popularity. You know what? Let's get you going. But the three holdings will be granted you. And there we go. We got a lot of support now. Praise Jupiter. Are you trade ships or are these? What are you guys? You're, you're just kind of moving around. Do I have to get my ships to do something? Boarding tactics, frontal assault, ramming tactics. Are you like trade ships? Right, let's go to the macro builder. Light ship, light ship. Your heavy ships we don't really have access to right now. We build a fortress. We got a lot of stuff here as well. We have 215 bucks. I wouldn't mind building a library. Yeah, build a build a library in uh in Rome itself. Get a claim on territories. Sabina! Who the is it it's you? You are a in alliance with this guy. All allies, everybody would say yes. I don't know why this is here. Maybe because one of the graphics mods I have on is like screwing this over. Let me actually go because I think I changed the um not 50. Let's go back to 100 percent here. Maybe that's screwing us up. No, it, it's just kind of in the way. I can't read behind the screen. Back to missions close. I don't know actually why it's uh why it's like that. Yeah, okay, fine. We will just not see who our allies are. You are both gonna join this war. All my little vassals will join this war. I honestly think that just ourselves, like we can probably win this. I have no real idea if we can or not, but I'm gonna hope that we can. Okay, five approval rating. And we are now at war. So I think that means we got to go into our military. Raise up our units. We have 18,000 men. I don't really know what the big triangles mean. It just means you're building stuff. Okay. And we're still earning money, which I think is pretty good. Do we know how many men you have? We know you have... About the same are popped. I'm assuming you're about the same in terms of military strength. These two cannot be merged because they're from different governor ships. Okay, fine. The deceitful barbarians. How dare they? Well, I think we probably if if our allies can deal with this smaller country, like these smaller countries here, we probably just want to focus on killing the big one, right? We we kill this guy and then. We should hopefully be okay. We have 18,000 men. We have no... Okay, we have no idea how powerful they are. We have 14,000 troops in this area. Do they get... Is, is locking still in this game? Italian Destiny. Fabrication speed... Let's make costs go down. It doesn't look like you know. Okay, no, they do still get locked. Imminent battle. Battle will be here between Rome and Utra. Our side might win. Now it doesn't know if it'll win. It's unclear who will win this battle. We don't have any archers. We got some reinforcements coming in here. Atta attack is the best defense. 
We're actually now outnumbered. Not probably a great way to start this. We have also loads of food supply in Tuskia. Do we have any mercenaries? Again, this is my first time playing. If I'm doing poorly, um, you know, it's to be expected. Let's put some you're the mercenary tab. We don't have enough money. Okay, we've lost the battle. You know, they must be destroyed. Everybody must be destroyed. That's basically the way I see this. We got so many forces here. Where are you retreating? You're retreating all the way back down to here. We'll have some money soon. We're just getting cleans on every single person on the entire planet. All of Italy will fall to Rome's might eventually. You just gotta wait and see. Again, we're at war. Which one of you is the diplomacy map mode? P. So we're at war with these guys up towards the north. I mean, they might actually take Rome right away. Can I actually... Okay, if we go to economy. Let's increase taxes for right now. Increase our taxation. We got these guys retreating. They're actually now fighting a battle. Our side will probably win that. Okay, let's go in here, reinforce. Make sure we defend Rome with our lives. We're in, we are in negative 16, which means not good, but it looks like we will defeat this army. So it's got, the, it's got the EU4 rules where if you're defending in a fort, or if you attack into a fort that's yours, you, 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 uh, you're on the defending side, which is nice. Fantastic. Our units have won. Now it's time. It's like, yeah, sure. They were they were sieging Rome for a little bit. The ascendancy of Rome. I'm a, I sing the song of warfare and I'm a man of war. Hell yeah, I am. Are you? Do you have any ships? You have 12 ships. Okay, 12 ships is more than uh, 10 ships, so we're not going to go for any naval engagements there. I don't like that when I right-click on this country, it always uh, brings up this menu. Okay, so we'll fight against you. You come here. We're winning. We're winning. Sue for peace. You cannot force an ally to abandon someone at war until 36 months have passed. In this war, it'll be 22nd of January, 454. So we still got a bunch of years left. Mind value of the man that you're making. I mean, we'll, we'll take as much land as we possibly can. The sacking of Slissy. Gain 26 bucks. So, you know, we'll, we'll, do a, we'll do a light, gentle siege. Because I want to occupy this country. So it makes no sense for uh, me to murder them as harshly as I could otherwise do. We got 500 men here. We've occupied this pillar. The UI is like so large. So, you know, I think I do got to go back to settings. We got to like make this UI a little smaller. Like it's not that not that small. That small is too that small is too small. Let's go like 80% maybe. Yeah, that that's more reasonable. We don't want the, like the entire screen to be filled up with. Uh, UI elements. That seems like a bit much. We got 7,000 men here. You know, how about you, like, come closer towards our forces? 
Okay, you're fighting here. You're on the defensive, so you should end up winning the 7,000 stack. I'm not too worried about them, to be honest. And we do have enough money if we can hire a mercenary company if we need to. And what's everybody else in the world doing? I do actually, by the way, I do really like the map in Imperato Rome. I think it looks very, very nice. That kind of like, where it's like, you can see that it's like kind of like on a sphere. It's not like a flat map. I think it looks very nice. Are we at war with you? No, you're just hanging out. Okay. We're at seven percent. How, how's our siege actually going here? I hope this is. By the way, I hope this is not too small for people on on stream or on YouTube to actually see. Flocking to the banner. Yeah, sure, we'll sign this guy up. Do we have any good omens? The answer still seems to be no. Okay, we got another battle here, which it looks like we've won. We got 4,000 men. Because we have 4,000 men in this army as well. I mean, it's like, again, we could hire mercenaries. You did take back your city, which means actually you occupy all this land again. How's our food supply doing, by the way? 171, you are at... is 11 food. Use 1.6 food per month. We need to actually go get more food. Honestly, I think it's okay for us to hire a mercenary company. Monthly main is $8, $4. I mean, it's base cost 100. 11,000, 6,000 men. Let's hire you. Make your way down here. Sure, you want to buy some stuff? That's okay. And we want to still be gentle on the loot. I don't think we want to be too crazy on the loot. 